Hello everyone, my name is Loco and it is time for another Tavern Brawl in Hearthstone. Let's see what this week's crazy rules are all about. What? I didn't click the button yet. Oh, did they remove the little voice actor from the innkeeper? Either way, um, you know, there's crazy new rules every week with something like that. Who is the boss now? Dungeon bosses want to help you play. Build your own deck, but get a random boss power. Each time you use it, get a new one. <gasps> Wait. Random dungeon bosses will help me out. So what does this mean? That doesn't mean that we get a random class hero power, right? Oh, well, it's time to build a deck. All right, so I decided to go with a pretty standard druid deck sort of setup right here. The only thing that we obviously need to add in here is going to be inspired cards, because those are going to be benefiting, um, you know, obviously the druids and whatnot, and it's going to be great in this, in this um, Devon Brawl. We just got to be a little careful about it. Obviously, I can't just add anyone in there. Oh, we can go next to Champion Serrat, I suppose. Uh, maybe the Caldea Caldi Raider as well. I don't really actually have that many. Oh, we'll go with the Recruiter here. We go with the Bone Guard Lieutenant, Silverhand Regent, and we can add one more Mook Class Champion. Let's do it. Actually, now I think about it, Maiden of the Lake is obviously going to be pretty powerful here as well. So before we, we load up, we gotta we gotta remove a recruiter out there. Uh, and um, who else are we gonna remove? Hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll remove another Bone Guard Lieutenant here and add two uh, Maiden of the Lakes. And I think that's gonna be pretty much it. We, we need one more card. We need one more card. Um, do we have something else with Hero Power that we're gonna be benefiting from? Um, we could actually add like a, a Spectral Trigger. We have a Saboteur. Your opponent's Hero Power costs five more the next turn. Oh! <gasps> The Saboteur is gonna be awesome! Alright, be gone. Here we go. This is gonna be the deck. This is gonna be the deck. The Saboteur, I didn't even didn't even know I had that card. And we find ourselves right here against the Paladin. Now, I've been playing a lot of Paladin on the ladder, on the Constructed ladder, that is. But uh, we'll see what we can make use out of here. So, we're just gonna remove everything, I think, here and just keep Wrath. Obviously, a nice little early game removal. I have no idea if this deck is gonna be even remotely okay. But Maiden of the Lake is pretty powerful here. Pretty cool. We can actually play one super early. Oh snap, we have a different hero power already. Wild Magic. Put a random spell from your opponent's class into your hand. Cool. We'll start playing that immediately the next turn, I think. We can uh, innervate out Maiden of the Lake, hero power. What does he have? He's got an Harvest. Draw a card and gain a mana crystal. Wow. How powerful is that? And now he gets a different one, the Poison Cloud. Alright. Uh, so I think we're gonna innovate out the uh, Maiden of the Lake. Here we go. And then we're gonna activate that. What do we get? We get a card from him, right? Yeah, okay, we get a Holy Light. Sweet. And the next hero power that we get is Pylon. Put a minion from each deck into the battlefield. Alright, cool. What does he have? He's got the Poison Cloud. Do one damage to all enemy minions. If any dies, summon a slime. Ugh. So we gotta be a little careful, actually. Hmm. We can obviously also add the um, Savage Combatant here if you really want to. But I think I'm gonna keep her off the growth silence here. I think that's the thing that makes most sense. Don't really want to inspire her yet because it doesn't line up very well with the rest that I got. Um, he's likely gonna Poison Cloud. I must save but I think this makes most sense. He's likely gonna kill my Darnas Desperate, but that way we can play the um, Savage Combatant next turn anyway, right? Ideally, I would I would want to keep this thing alive for one more turn. Take this blade. Ideally, I would want to keep the uh, Darnest Desperate alive for one more turn. So, you know, we'll take one, two more damage to the face right there for him. And then hopefully we can play Savage Combatant next turn. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay, the Blessing of Kings here. So he's definitely going to take out the Maiden. Fair enough. Fair enough there. Um, we can kill it by simply using a Wrath, it's just not gonna line up very nicely at all. Kinda tempted to just hero power here and see what we get, but that also isn't lining up very well, so... None of this is lining up very well. I would go, I would save the, um, I would want to kill this thing obviously here, but it's a little messy. And it's not gonna make it any easier for us. Yeah, we can go Wrath, Holy Light, 
hero power or something next turn. I do need to kill that thing. We're gonna lose a. We're gonna lose one of our mana gems. I think I have to hero power here next turn. But at the very least, we still have some board presence right here. It kind of depends on this turn, really. The game is kind of decided right here, pretty much. Like, he needs to build up tempo right now if he wants to, because otherwise he's going to start falling behind significantly. Obviously, Poison Cloud is not going to do anything. Kind of do want to play around that. Ooh. Oh, snap. No, 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 no. Wait, what? Wait, what? That's it? Alright, he's got the wild magic right now. Oh, this is pretty good. This is much better for me. Do I really want to just innervate out of hero power, as stupid as that seems? We're gonna innervate out of hero power. Sickest meta of all time. Oof. What did he get? Obviously, he's gonna get the Stampedo Coda right there. Uh, we will be able to clean that up. And we have just gotten Mukla's champion here. Mukla's champion, inspire, give your other minions plus one, plus one. Great. High tide. We do definitely need to kill that now. This is great. We got a very powerful board here. The more we will be able to use our hero power, the stronger it will. Open the gate, summon 311 whelps. If we play this, I think, I think Mukla's champion will actually trigger afterwards. Ah, this is fine. Unless he gets a swipe, maybe. No, even that's fine. A swipe would uh, would be annoying, but it's all good. And he's actually getting a jeering crowd. Wait, he can use the hero power multiple times? Wow! He's got the same one twice in a row. I see how it is. Alright, this is fine though. We have a double Savage Roar to go next turn if we want to. Well, let's hero power. So much value. Here we go, I'm ready. Yeah, the the, uh, the Master or the Mukla's Champion does trigger afterwards. That is insanely powerful. I almost have lethal here. We have lethal... Wait, wait, wait. Do we have lethal? We have two? Uh, we got 17. 17... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We got 17 plus 8. 17 plus 8 is... It, yeah, we have lethal, right? No, no, no. Actually, I'm two mana short. Never mind. Never mind. Destroy a random enemy minion. I mean, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Alright. Come on, do it. I think I'm actually gonna be healing up Mukla's champion if I really want to. Oh, what do we have? Oh my god, this is so powerful. Can I still hit face? Oh my god. <laughs> this is so I don't even know what just happened! That was stupidly powerful! What? Alright, we got a free card pack. We got a free card pack. Alright, we had some insane synergy right here in the very first game, but I think it's time to give it another try. We'll keep the living roots and we'll keep the wild growth here. Uh, but I want to see if we can make it work once again. The battle cry from the Saboteur is so powerful here as well. We have some very, very good setups here. Alright, what do we have? We also have a Poison Cloud. My greetings. Alright, so I was gonna play the Living Roots, but uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense. We already have to call the Raider here as well. That one can become stupidly powerful, as we noticed. I'm ready for you, uh, Joker. If you, give me, if you give me a finger, I will take your hand. It's a Dutch saying. I don't know if that's an English saying as well. But if you give me any room here whatsoever, I will, I will not stop. I will not stop at all. You know what? I'll just play another Wild Growth then. I'll just play another Wild Growth. I'm okay with that. Yep. I'm all good. Don't want to give him any free slimes, obviously. I am the dancing master. That's a cry. The next time you use your hero power, it costs two less. Hmm. Cool. Unless we play the uh, unless we play the Sabathur, then you're in trouble. I'm kind of tempted to just Sabathur Living Roots here, but. I mean, he will be able to, to deal with it, most likely. But this is still fine. Alright. If he doesn't clean this up, I think he's done. <laughs> it's literally getting to that point. We can saboteur Living Grid Hero Power next turn. And we will be dealing a ton of damage to him. Oh, he's gonna be able to kill it. That's a little unfortunate. Alright. 
All right. Uh, we have eight mana. We got a little bit too little for that, sadly. Um, ah, just barely not lining up here. I think we're gonna have to living root. Oh man. What does he have? What does he have? The wrap wrap. Return a random enemy minion to your opponent's hand. Alright. There we go. Making it a little more expensive. We'll go for some 1-1 one -one saplings right here. And then next turn we can make use of the uh, of the hero power. So we'll poison cloud next turn after attacking like that. I think that's the best move. He can't use his hero power right now. So this is this is pretty good, right? This is pretty good. I am freed from the curse. What? Oh really? That just overrides just like that? He's actually, he's actually gonna make sure he loses both. That is funny. I don't know if you should wrap wrap right here, but it's all good. Um, I think I do need to play some minions here. I, enjoy raiding. I know you enjoy raiding. We do want to start hero powering here. Do we uh, just hero power just like that? Just get a better one? We gotta activate... Or activate a random Tron is our next one. Activate a random Tron? What does that even mean? Alright, we're gonna find out. I'm ready. Ooh! We got an Arcana Tron? Both players have plus spell damage plus two? <sighs> Ooh! That's kinda scary. If he has a swipe, we're actually in trouble here. I'm not sure if that one is helping me out very much, but the daring crowd we got now... Ugh. All right, we already have an 8-8 eight, eight here, though. And we can play our hero power four times in the next turn. If he doesn't have, like, a... You know, something to stop... He can actually use his hero power so many times here. We're lucky he doesn't have something that benefits from Inspire. Oh my god. Ugh. He's not giving me that synergy that I'm looking for. He's not giving it. Unleash the beast. Unleash the beast. Um. That one is getting that one is getting way too powerful here. We need to get rid of that thing. But I can't. Maybe I needed to force a nature in order to do that, but he's not giving me a turn anymore now. All right, the bone construct is such a terrifying card. He can hero power so many times. The maiden of the lake is the one strong card here that is making this incredible. Why does he do that though? Oh, he really wants to kill all that minion. I see. We're losing that one uh, that one mina crystal right here, but most importantly, losing the board control. I don't have anything here. Why doesn't he use the hero power three times? Oh my god. Maiden of the lake here. Alright. I think I think we're just gonna play it. See what we get. What else do I get? Here we go. Just keep playing him. I'm just gonna keep playing him. Give me another spell. I'm okay with that. We get holy light. And we also get a poison cloud here if we want to. He's already played Consecrate twice, so I'm not too worried. Um, I guess we'll wait for that. I guess we'll wait for that. Alright, I'm not sure why he didn't just web wrap something last turn. I think he could have just spammed it, or maybe he didn't have the option to if there's no minion out on the board at all. Alright. He can hero power so many times right here as well, though. The Major Domo, summon a 3 3 Flame Waker. Wow. Oh man, he's gonna fill the board. I don't have any kind of AoE clear, do I? Oh, the Arcanotron. We'll see what he wants. Oh, he's actually gonna go for the Abomination. That's a little unfortunate. I don't have any AoE... 
I do have a silence, but... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose a bunch of stuff. We're gonna lose a bunch of stuff here. It does uh, two AOE damage, right? Yeah. Oh well. Let's wrath it down then. Let's see what we get, and I will start hero powering. Oh, actually, I could have just obviously used my hero power right here. Hmm, so good. All right, hero power. What else do we have? Draw a mana, gain it, or draw a card and gain a mana crystal. That's so powerful. Here we go. Saboteur it up. All right, just keep hero powering. Just keep going. Oh man, this is fun. This is awesome. And a major domo here. Sure. Let's go. And we also get a seal of the champion. Give a minion plus three attack and divine shield. Great. Good luck breaking this, Joker. Unless you got a wrath from your uh, from your earlier, uh, you know, spell stealing. I don't know if I don't remember exactly what uh, if you've already used that one. But your hero power is very expensive right now, and I don't think you're gonna be able to do too much. We got six, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, nineteen damage right now in the next turn. We just need a savage roar. Just a savage roar. We're running two of them. And we will be in stupid, stupid strength. I'm ready for a Joker. So even though we didn't have as much of like, you know, a steamroll as in the, in the previous game, this is still looking very good. We can obviously hold the light ourselves as well. Um, but, you know, in general, uh, Paladin doesn't have that scary of a, uh, that scary of a, uh, you know, one turn kill. And he says the victory is yours. Great. Alright, and obviously we did get a free card pack right here. I've been hoping for a Sylvanas for a very long time. I've sort of stopped up. Uh, I've sort of stopped up. I've sort of stopped believing in it. And we're not gonna get anything great either. But at least we got a Wisp. <gasps> Amazing. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you want to see more Hearthstone content, also make sure you hit that subscribe button. Because I do try and upload at least two of those a week. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!